Hello there, welcome to my channel. My name is Allison, I am the Coffee Native Creative. I love everything art, planners, journals, and all the things between. If you are new, welcome, and if you're back, I'm so glad you're back. Okay, so today I am working in my Hobonichi Cousin of Vec, doing a journal with me, and also continuing my monochromatic spread along the rainbow. So we have seen red, orange, yellow, green. Today is blue and violet. Yay! Um, if you know the Roy G. Biv acronym, you'll probably realize that I have left out indigo. Yeah. It, it's just not going to happen. <laughs> I've decided to do violet. And then um, my last day, the Sunday, will be black and white, which I'm pretty excited about. In fact, I might actually do Sunday and Monday, both black and white. Oh, yeah. I'm going to live on the edge here. Anyways, so what you see me do is um, that background piece that sort of looks like some spray, like strips of spray, was um, basically the scrap of me spraying paper. And a lot of times what I'll do is if I am spraying paper, I will use sticker paper <laughs> behind the paper I'm spraying so that I can kind of have really easy to use interesting backgrounds. And so that's what I used in order to cover up the bleed through from the date on the page before like the page earlier so that was the background and then these two pictures of these girls on swings I just loved from a magazine I just thought they were so cute and they kind of just reminded me of my daughter and I when we get really silly now you are probably like wait what you are just friends with your daughter no I'm a parent too but there are times when she brings out the most funny silly parts of me and we just have like silly fun and that was what happened on this day so she was feeling super silly I was feeling super like silly and happy it was Friday it was after work and we were just like pranking each other basically making each other laugh we got hardcore giggles it was just a really fun little night in fact that picture of me and her was me trying to take a picture of myself to sh to send to my friend because I had gotten my hair cut on Tuesday and she photobombed me and she just thought she was so funny photobombing me and so yeah it was just oh my god it was such a fun little night um so anyways then I put down a picture of my husband which he was sitting on a cat a couch with my cat on top of the couch and he hates getting this picture taken like he's not a picture dude um so yeah I was just happy to get that and then even my cat my cat's really old his name is Bowie and um it was just nice to get a picture of both of them they're both like you know behind the scenes <laughs> and today they're they're on center stage <laughs> oh my gosh I'm so cheesy okay so then I grabbed a like steampunky kind of stencil that I got from AliExpress a long time ago and used some faded jeans ranger distress oxide stamp pad <laughs> it's like so many words uh to do the background so that's where you those like cool little like geary looking um things that's how i did that and now i am taking some calligraphy ink um it's like in a little pot i got that from jet pens and i haven't used it before so i thought oh let me use that i've had it forever and it's purple for my violet page so i just took a paintbrush and created some dots so, or really not dots. They're like st strokey dots. Yeah, whatever. Um, now I'm grabbing a, um, well, that's actually the statement to my uh, <laughs> retirement account. <laughs> well, it goes to show how much I, uh, I really read that thing. <laughs> Anyways, that's for my uh, to to um, catch anything that might like go onto another page, and I'm using that stamp pad to stamp these awesome stamps. They are numbers from Michaels, numbers in like various punctuation, because my really good friend Zyra, who's the bomb.com, heard in one of my videos that I would love numbers, or she said like, oh, you can get them at Michaels. I think they have numbers too, and she actually got them for me, and she sent them to me. It was so nice. I like it was so thoughtful and such a nice gesture. And she's just the best. <sighs> Anyways, so I really wanted to document receiving that amazing, thoughtful gift. That Friday is from my own lettering, which I turned into printables. And that five, the number five is from Courtney Diaz. 
It would not be a journal with me if I did not mention Courtney Diaz, right? <laughs> right. Um, that number six is from Loveland's Life, I believe. And these pictures are from me. Oh, yeah. So on this Saturday, my family and I went on a hike. Um, it was really fun. It was really muddy. It was super muddy. There was like like 90% of the snow had melted, but in the shade, there were still little bits of snow, which was kind of fun. Um, but the reason why I took this really cheesy picture of me pointing to my shirt is because as part of a fundraiser that we contributed contributed to, we wore our courthouse dogs t-shirts. Well, I had the t-shirt and my daughter had the like bandana type thing. Um, courthouse dogs are a organization that provides basically dogs as support animals in courthouse situations and a dear friend of mine works for them and so they were doing a virtual 5k and so we donated and I wanted to show them some love so I took that picture and posted it on my Instagram and yeah I like the way it turned out so I decided to put it on my journal too now I'm just outlining that six so it didn't feel like it was just floating and now I am taking this really gorgeous photo of a sunset that was from a magazine. This isn't the actual sunset of the day, but I just thought it fit because like I said, we'd gone on a hike, it was gorgeous. We hadn't really been in nature in a while, so it just like felt like a fitting photo. And that rainbow is from February and June, her printables. And that picture of of the graffiti, or I'm sorry, the mural, it's like a graffiti-esque mural. It says, um, teachers and like, thanks, teachers and parents. Virtual learning is hard. And I love the story behind this situation. So I was driving in an area that I hadn't been in a while, and I pulled over and took a picture of that. And there was also one that says hope, but it didn't make the page. Anyways, I posted them on my Instagram stories. And my friend, Gabby, was like, oh, my gosh, I know the person who made that, that mural, that art. I'm like, really? And she was like, yeah. And they work at your work. And I'm like, what? And so she gave me the person's name and I found him in like the employee address, you know, system and outlook. And I sent him an email saying how much I loved his mural and how it just like made my day. And it was it's just such a positive message in the community. And he emailed me back and he was like, thank you so much. This means so much to me. And it was just like, just such a lovely story. Like, when do you ever like, a, actually pull over and take pictures of the mural. B, post it on your social. Someone actually sees it and then connects you to the artist. Like, it was just just so cool. I just love that story. Anyways, so uh, then I write course, courthouse dogs love on some sticker paper and then um, outline it with a mermaid marker. Purple, of course. And then I try to figure out where to put it. And... I pretty much put it where you see it right now. <laughs> um, yeah. So I'm really enjoying the way this page turned out. I mean, obviously, I know how it turned out, but I love it. I love this whole monochrome, monochrome challenge. Uh, it's really pushing me to try and get creative. And I feel like it's working. I think I think the results are pretty creative. Um, so now I stuck down that courthouse dogs love <laughs> sticker ish thing. And I'm outlining it with my Posca pen. I love outlining things in black. I feel like it automatically ties things together pretty easily. And yeah, then I journal about how muddy my dog got. So on this hike, my husband and my dog went like fast. He went on a run and my daughter and I, you know, stayed back and I just walked with her. She was short. She's shorter. So she's, she's slower. And they came upon us and literally my dog looked like a different dog because he was covered in that much mud. And I was like, oh my gosh, how are we going to do this? Anyway, everybody survived. He got a bath when we got home. But man, that was a lot of mud. Um, now I'm taking some stickers. I believe I got these at Michael's um, of some birds because I'm just in a bird phase. Put a, put a bird on it. What's that from? Tell me in the comments. <laughs> Um, and then I just grabbed some heart stickers and stick those around too. They're really cute. They're holographic and from Pip Sticks. So I really enjoyed doing these pages. It was fun. Um, how 
are you going to try a monochromatic spread? Tell me. I challenge you. Um, it's super duper fun. And thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.